I know I have told you guys this before, but this is my favorite, favorite perfume. This is Paris Hilton by Paris Hilton. And my mom used to wear this all the time when I was little. And then one day she stopped wearing it and she switched to a different perfume. And then I realized how much I loved it and I missed it so much. So I asked her to get me my own. And it's not that expensive to buy it at the store. I know some perfumes can cost a hundred or more dollars if they're very, very fancy. But this costs not that much, which is another good thing. So for the past probably four or five years, at least, I've asked my mom for this every Christmas. Uh, and it usually lasts me all year. so long. I have a, I have some other perfumes though, but I just don't wear them as much. I don't like them as much. I have one that smells very fruity, like grapefruits, citrus, and then I have one that's more of a sophisticated smell, and it's really good. I got it for my birthday last two years ago. Just very simple, black and pink, and then the cursive writing in silver. This is the body mist, though. The perfume is in a different type of bottle, but it's still the same pink and black. Little swivels on it. Somebody said that they missed my type, uh, my tapping, because I haven't been tapping as much lately. I guess I didn't notice it, but. some dedicated tapping. But first, some more water sounds. We'll go ahead and move on from this. Put that right behind me, and I'm going to do some water sounds with this. This I got very recently, probably the last, I think I got this in January. before that. But this is Smoothie Star Body Spray. And I believe I got this at a Walgreens. Or maybe, I, I think it was a Walgreens. Um, it smells so good. I can't explain what it smells like. Let me see if it has the ingredients. all in a different language and I can't read it. But, uh, whatever it is, it's so good. I guess it's a smoothie smell, but there's like a bajillion different smoothies in the world, so I don't know what that means. Let me try to spray it. Mm. 
and the bottle's still almost all the way full just because I don't use it so much as much as I do my other spray the one I was just showing This is very sweet, but it's very distinctive. Like it reminds me of something that I've smelled before. Um, like a certain shop, maybe. It reminds me of like a primitive time, a primitive smell. she sounds than the other just because there's less and more in them. This one I don't know if you can see you can kind of see the line right there you can kind of see it moving like the liquid inside of the bottle moving around some different ones of these. They might still have them. But this one is Soothe Smoothie Star. So, and it looks like this on the label. It's a circle and then it's a girl going, yeah. <laughs> it's almost like she's saying, duh. <laughs> duh. It's very, very, very cute. And there's a little star above her head right there. So if you're ever wanting to know what this might smell like, just pop into a Walgreens and take a whiff of it, and that's, that's the smell. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this behind me, and move on to this next spray. Now you'll have to forgive me, I hope you'll forgive me, because this bottle is very old. Which means there's not much in it. There's a little bit of stuff on it, just because it's been around a few years. Also, because it's been by tons of my makeup and different hair products and stuff. So over the years, it's got a few smudges on it. But this is my favorite uh, heat protectant for doing my hair. You've probably seen it before if you've watched my curling my hair videos, like, earlier on in my channel. I know I did some of those. It does bubble up very fast, so when you shake it, see, you can kind of hear it. It's, like, very foamy in there, but it's a yellow bottle, and it is, uh, got to be Guardian Angel Heat Protectant, 400 is what you can uh, heat your hair up to, and this will protect it up to that. It says gloss finish, flat iron balm, straighten, protect, be redeemed. So this would be, um, I would use this to spray onto my hair before I curl it or flat iron it or put any heat on it, wave, you know, whatever, crimps, whatever and it would protect it. It would put a little layer over your hair and kind of just protect it in that way. The back says, beware of the burn. Beware of the burn. And I'm going to try to read this for you guys says, be invincible with got to be guardian angel formulated with proven 425 degrees Fahrenheit heat protection 
plus patented combined styling support there's no need there's no more need to go any hotter you crave the stick straight styles the stick such hard work and oh the damage done dot 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 this flat iron straightening balm moisturizes and insulates your hair from flat iron frying to provide long lasting sleek frizz free locks with luminous shine effects forget the styling sins of the past. Your hair is flat out invincible now. Be smooth, angel. Hold bottle 8 to 10 inches from hair. Spray dry hair in sections prior to flat ironing. If spray nozzle clogs, run under hot water. I've never ever had a problem with the nozzle, and I've had this a very, very long time. And it, I'm sure it still works. I should probably find that out for sure, but I've used this for years, and since I don't put heat on my hair a whole lot, um, I don't go through a lot of hair product, especially when it comes to flat iron, or, um, heat protectant, and hairspray, and just any styling products, really. Now, when I had my hair really short, I would sometimes use a um, very sticky taffy-like hair product. Um, they had different things for it. They had taffies and they had different um, bed head glues. If you've ever had, if you ever went through the styling products uh, in the aisles at the store, um, you will know what I'm talking about. They got all kinds of wild glues. Just different stuff. Um, I used a lot on people when I would be at college and working in a salon. I'd use a lot of product on them, but I've never really used it on my own hair. Which My favorite product to use in the salon was mousse, and it's obvious why. It's like so fluffy, and um, it's just very fun to use. That was probably my favorite product to use on somebody. Um, when I was younger, I kind of wanted to get a perm on my hair just so that I could use mousse in it and scrunch it up, but I never did. I never got a perm. So, since this bubbles up a little bit too easily, I'm gonna go ahead and set it down. It's not making much sounds. And this is completely full now. I went and I filled it up so that we could do lots of spray sounds. So, um, I'm just going to, let's see, let me test it out really quick. I'm just going to make some spray sounds. Gotta be kind of careful. Gotta be kind of cautious. Because I have a lot of equipment and stuff around and I don't want to. Oh, now that's a nice sound. I am spraying my blanket over there. Let me just move a couple things out of the way. Make sure everything is still in line. You know. I should probably have some plants hanging and everything so that the 
this isn't wasteful, which, you know, um, but for the most part, just doing it for your treatment. Maybe we'll come back to this. Maybe we will find out a different way to use this. I guess it makes a little bit shaky sounds. This is just one of those basic spritzer bottles. If you've ever been to a professional hair shop before, they have all of these amazing amazing spray bottles. Like, they are unreal. I'm gonna go back and get one. They're not that high, either. They are probably, like, ten dollars, maybe, maybe thirteen or twenty, but they're so cool. And they sound different than just these little spritzer sprays. They don't sound like that. They're, like, slow motion. It's, like, it's really you can spin this little thing here. I didn't know that for the longest time. When I was little, I, like with Febreze bottles too and stuff, you can make them, you can make them really misty spray. Oh gosh. Or you can make them straight up, um, just like one line. See, that's very misty. Oh gosh. <laughs> but, you know, we'll save this for another day. Alright. So, the next thing, the next trigger, 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 is going to be a little bit of tapping. Okay? And, um, not just any old on my favorite, favorite item. My favorite prop. Now, if I have already done this trigger in the video, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but I, do, I can't remember if I have or not. And I definitely did not want to leave it out. After doing, let's see, what's it been, like five hours of, of videoing? I've done lots of different triggers and props and stuff. And this was put in one of the, one of the sections of stuff that I haven't used. So I either accidentally put it back in there after I used it, or I just haven't used it yet and I'm making a big old fool of myself right now. But it seriously makes some of the coolest sounds because of this roof. This roof. Roof. Whatever one you say. I call it a roof. It has all of these different layers of shingles. Shingles, 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 shingles. Dingly, dingly, shingly. Shingly, dingles. Dingles, shingles. Um, someone suggested that this probably goes in the other way. So 
and we're just going to tap on it. nice and slowly gliding my fingers I'd really like to do just like a dedicated video one of these days just doing this <laughs> just for my own Another cool thing about it, which I've shown you guys this before, especially if I've already shown this prop to you guys today, it's a little box. It's got this little puffy ball, little, little ball of cloudness, or a little cloud in there. Little nice fluff. ASMR videos is wanting to fall asleep 
while you're listening to the sounds that you're creating. I get quite a few questions from a lot of people that are wanting to start their own channels or maybe have just thought about it in the past and want to know kind of um, more about it, like the behind the scenes part of it into all of it and everything. The good, or the pros and the cons, and everything like that. And that's one thing that is a really good um, thing. If you love ASMR, you love sounds, and you just, you really get the tingles, and you really get relaxed um, when you hear a certain sound, and you know what you like, um, you know, like, what triggers your ASMR the most. That's one thing being a creator is because you can listen to yourself create for other people to enjoy, but at the same time when you find a certain sound that you really like you can do it how you want to you know, you can do it at your own pace um, and for however long you want to do for however long you want to do I know that I've probably seen lots of videos and there will be this one heavenly moment where the sound is perfect and it's the, like the best sound in the world and I will replay that moment over and over and over again just because it's, it's like a too short it's too short but most of the time the creator doing it or you yourself or me or whoever the creator when they are focused and doing a trigger, it's kind of hard to know what is the best sound in the moment. If that makes any sense. You know. that said that they miss my tapping videos. I'm not sure if you'll ever see this this moment in my channel. But for you, you, you uh, the person that said they missed those, a really good, really good playlist. Um, if you really enjoy just tapping and whispering or tapping and talking, lots of tapping triggers, would honestly be my album series those videos are full of tapping um, and crink some crinkle sounds with the sleeves too the album series will be coming back shortly okay so I'm gonna go ahead and put that behind me and we'll grab the next Now the 
this hat kind of resembles the sound of rain as well. And I had got this hat for my, um, my Becky Lynch video, but it's kind of small on me. Same with the other hat that I bought for that video. It's kind of small on me, but I love it. I, I love the, the color, how shiny it is. Nice sounds. I really like the top. Looks like an almond or an avocado. It really does look like an avocado. It's like a green. But I did get this at Target around St. Patrick's Day, if you're wondering where I got it. The top kind of sits down like that if you want it to, or you can kind of fold it up, maybe, like that. Like that, probably. And it's almost like a mirror because you can see a reflection a little bit. It's really cool. those kind of sticky tappy sounds. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of what it would mm, probably sound like if you could hear Spider-Man's um, fingers like crawling up a wall. Like if he was crawling in slow motion. Now his fingertips stick to the wall. If you could hear it with a Blue Yeti or an ASMR microphone of any kind, you could hear it up close. Just imagine it. If I ever do a Spider-Man crawling up a wall ASMR, I'll know what to use for the sound effect. Anything this material would probably make that sound.
some little strings here. I'm gonna probably need to cut those off. Snip them off with some scissors. But we'll worry about that some other time. I just noticed those. along with the tapping very slowly, maybe some crinkles. But now that for some reason had me in a ASMR days, I guess. Cause it really reminded me of just a very relaxing, maybe not slowing down, like after it's been raining like very hard. But you can still kind of hear it outside. And sometimes it'll pick up again very slowly. shiny and holographic looking. I loved stuff like this. I still do. I love it. Um, I also, I was a mermaid one time for a kid's birthday party. I was Ariel and I had the big um, mermaid tail with the fin and like the flapper and all that stuff. It was so cool. And it was made out of this same type of material. So it was very green and bluish and scaly and shiny. It was so cute. Um, so that's that. a little bit of a different noise, a little bit of a different sound than the hat did. But I got this for Nurse Tilly. And, um, it's really, it's just really cool. It's got a little handle here. A rubber handle so it doesn't make it doesn't make too much of a tapping noise tapping sound but it's got these little 
straps here made out of kind of like a belt buckle, um, like a canvasy cloth. Not really sure what to call that. Yeah. Maybe like straw. Kind of looks like straw. lined with this gray zipper. I think I will go to open this up here in a little bit and just show you what the inside of it looks like. It, um, it has, has some different compartments and little things, if I'm remembering correctly. I've only looked in it a couple times, but... very smooth feeling to it. Go ahead and unzip it. So it's got this netted fabric over it and it's got a little zipper here. I'll leave that closed. But, um, so you could put little bandages, uh, little, little pieces of gauze and stuff in there for a medical video. Or, you know, if you real life stuff too, this would come in handy. Um, so yeah, little like flat things, bandages, things like that. Um, then up here, cool. And, um, it's got these little compartments, and they're kind of just opened, like there's no zipper or button, kind of closing them off. So you gotta be kind of careful on what you put in there. But, um, you could put a little flashlight in there, you could put some different medicines, maybe some ointments, maybe some, um, some different, like, neosporin sprays, or Anything that would really go into a, like, first aid kit. In Nurse Tilly's case, or Dr. Prim, or whatever medical video I'm doing, um, you know, I would try to put things like, also, like, my lights, my flashlights, and, um, anything like that that I use. Um, just things like that. So I thought it was perfect for that. And of course you got this little section. It's completely one compartment. So you could put something bigger back there. But um, you could store quite a bit of stuff in here. So it was a really, really good deal. I got it at a yard sale for a quarter or 50 cents or something. But I'm going to go ahead and close it. Side. How thick it is. 
once you like open it a little bit it could it could hold quite a bit of stuff in there but right now it's kind of just it's kind of just been like flattened a little bit because there's nothing in there yet I have couple bags um, put away in my prop station or my prop stuff in a cabinet in the other room and I got all my medical stuff for videos not that I've made like a whole lot um, but you know it has like bandages and just simple things like that that I've used in the past um, latex gloves things like that you know and I really need to go through it and put it in here so maybe I will do a separate video one of these days organizing my medical equipment I don't know why but I like those two words together um, so I try to say it a lot well not a lot but I try to fit it in anytime I can um, when I am being nurse Tilly um, I don't know why but med medical equipment medical equipment it just sounds pretty cool to me um, Speaking of medical equipment, I have a little eye chart here, and I thought it would be perfect to do some tracing on. Now, so I plan to use this a whole lot in the future. I know that examinations, tracing, things like that, um, medical videos, eye doctor videos are very much loved by you guys. And I've never done an eye doctor video yet. Like an official one. So, I have a an eye doctor's appointment for myself that I'm gonna go to sometime within the next month or two. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my appointment and I'm going to soak up all the information that I can see there try to catch the vibe of an eye doctor, ask them a ton of questions that don't even um, apply to me, just so that I know things, you know. But, we'll go ahead and start up here with this, and that is the letter E. And this letter line. You can see over here, by the way, that there are numbers going all the way down. So we'll go ahead and trace those as well at the after we're finished with the lines. So back to the top again, we have an E. We have an F and a P on our second line. The third line down is a T, O, Z. This next line down right here, we have an L. We have a P. We have an E. And we have a D. Now, this next line here, which is line number five, we have a P, E, C, F, D. Now, line number six, we have E, D, F, C, Z, and a P. Now, after that line, there's a green rectangular line right here. And that kind of separates all of the bolder lines that are easily easy uh, to see. It kind of separates those out. And it gives you the next, kind of like the next level of letter. 
is the next level. Let's see if your eyes can get to that point, which usually are the doctors. This would be way farther back and a little bit more difficult to, to read. But since it's up close today, and we're just doing this for tingly tracing, we have an F. We have an E. We have an L. We have an O. We have a P. We have a Z. And we have a D. And that's line 7. Here. Now this next one, there's this little fraction by it that says 20-20. So if you have 20-20 vision, you would be able to see that on the chart. Of course, if it was more back, if you could read those, then you would have better vision. So, we will go ahead and read those. We've got a D, we've got an E, F, P, O, T, E, and C. And that is line number A. Then separating that, which are these next three lines, is a red triangle, red rectangle. And that is line number nine. Then you have line number ten and line number eleven. So let's go ahead and trace those. So, for line number 10, I'm sorry, line number 9, we have an L, E, F, O, D, P, C, T. Now the fraction on this side is a 2015, if you can see those, that's pretty good vision. The second from last is F, D, P, L, T, C, E, line number 10. Now the very last line at the bottom of the paper, you can see a little fraction there. It says 2010. So I'm guessing that that is like the best vision that you can have. Now, you have a P, you have an E, you have a Z, you have an O, you have an L, C, F, T, and then your last letter is A. Pretty cool. So it's very neat. It has this little hole at the top so that you can just hang it on a nail or whatever um, in your room or something. Sorry, I'm trying to fix the lighting just a little bit. It got very dark because I had this very close. So told you that we would go back over and trace the numbers all by themselves, so that's what we will do. We have letter number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, 
fall and winter time because especially if you have like dry skin or you um, your feet could use some extra pampering um, it doesn't take that long it just takes 10 minutes about the same length that a polish application would take so definitely keep that in mind if you if you ever want to try it you should it's very nice and you know some people don't like to get pedic pedicures though especially if their feet are very ticklish or um, their just feet are sensitive and you don't people touching your feet or something um, but let me just tell you if it's a point of maybe being embarrassed of your feet because I I seen that a lot too in the salon people would be a little uncomfortable with their feet and they just wouldn't have a good time um, cosmetologists especially people that work in the spa section and they do pedicures a lot they have they've probably seen worse than your feet and they've seen equally things so don't ever feel like you know embarrassed or something everybody deserves to get the royal treatment sometimes so and also something like a little tip a little tip to keep in mind if you have ticklish feet and you just won't get a pedicure because you know you're ticklish like your feet are just so ticklish and you couldn't handle it something that could try to do is if you wanted to if you wanted to try it you could tell whoever is going to be giving your pedicure to you that day that you want your massage extra um, extra pressure to your massage because what I learned in school and I don't know if this works for everybody because I do know some people are just so very ticklish any little thing will just it's very you'd like to kind of embrace it and kind of um, what's it called conquer it if you want to conquer your ticklish feet maybe try to tell them to put more pressure when they go to massage your toes and stuff because when they add more pressure it actually turns into a relaxing massage now if they're going very light and doing like very light massages on your feet, it's gonna be a little bit more uh, triggery for your ticklishness for your tickly, tickliness I don't know but just, just a little a little talking about feet rubbing, I thought I would throw that in there so um, yeah so we're gonna go ahead and move on to a few different things that I could show you. I guess I will show you these. So let me tell you about them first a little bit. I have recently started to um, sell things on a site called Poshmark. You might have heard it before and I might have talked to you guys about it before. And I'm not going to talk much about it right now. Um, but in order to sell things, you gotta make them look cute. You gotta make the packages look all neat, nice, and um, just very pretty. You know, you don't want to send a package just plain and blank and everything. You want to put little tissue paper with it, and cute little tapes, and cute little bows if you can, and include little thank you cards and stuff. So. I'm not going to show you the thank you cards because they are in a different section in my room but I do want to show you these um, tissue papers and these little tapes that I got gift 
together if you're gonna mail something in the mail um, a cheaper way to do it other than getting wrapping paper or tissue paper from uh, Walmart or something if you go to your dollar store or Dollar Tree or whatever you might have you can get all kinds of different tissue paper in the party section usually and they should be just around a dollar and you save a lot more money that way I've seen tissue paper at um, different stores and sometimes they're like six dollars and it's like you don't get as much either so they had different designs different colors this is just one of the packages, or one of the sets that I got and in this one you get kind of more of a bold, vivid color color scheme Scream. you get a dark blue or I don't really know if that's considered a dark blue but just like really a bold blue you get a green, yellow, pink, and red This one comes with 24 sheets. Okay. Gift tissue, premium quality wrapping tissue, and on the back, on the back, and I will read those to you. I just kind of wanted to show you a little bit. Um, it, sh it says different ways you could use these, so I'm just going to read them. You can use them for wrapping, of course, wrapping gifts and stuff. You can use them for crafting. So, um, like if you wanted to cut little pieces out, you could cut little designs like hearts or stars or circles or whatever you're needing. And you could kind of just brush them on things with glue. Um, I'm sure you could find all kinds of cool projects online if you have a pin, Pinterest, Pinterest you have one of those, tons of do-it-yourself do um, tissue paper projects. Tissue paper projects, paper projects, paper, pro paper projects. I'm gonna go get the papers, get the papers. Um, so, the third thing you can use them for is packing. So, if you are moving or maybe you're just wanting to put some things in really safe packaging, okay, maybe you don't want to use bubble wrap or maybe you don't have bubble wrap, you can use tissue paper to kind of stuff things like uh, cups, glasses, dishes, things like, um, what is it, uh, snow globes, stuff like that. And then another thing is creating. So I remember When I was in younger years, younger grades, kindergarten, first grade, second grade, third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, um, we would do lots of art projects. And I remember we would use tissue paper to make a flower. It's like, say, we're making a Mother's Day card or making something for one of our grandparents or making something just something. Something to go on our locker, something to go on our desk, because um, back then, I don't know if you guys did this at your school, but we would have little name tags on our desk, and some years we would get to make like a little art, little art project, and kind of tape it on the front of our desk and let it hang over, so all of our art pieces were on the front of our desk and I thought that was so cool because um, it doesn't really work if you are in a sectioned uh, like four desks together it doesn't really work like that because you know but if you're in rows of desks um, it looks so cool and uh, this is totally off the subject of this whole video but I remember one year 
when I was in, I think it was third grade, we were rearranging the room, and I loved it when we did this in class, when we would change up the seating arrangement, and we would do different things. Um, this one year, we, we did, uh, all the desks were in a big square in the classroom, then there was one opening right by the chalkboard and the whiteboard, there was like one little opening so that the teacher could walk into the center of the room, and she would, you know, she'd be in the middle, and all the desks would be facing her, and all the kids would get to see each other that way. You know, it was so much fun. And I think our desks stayed like that for like two months. I think we, I think we switched seats and had different seating charts like every other month or every month maybe. But it was like the funnest thing. So if you're a teacher, or if you ever wanted to be a teacher for younger grades or something, that's something that you could try with your class if you have the opportunity or if you have control because it really just, I don't know, um, it helps the kids, I think, be more social with each other. And I guess that wouldn't be too good of a thing if your class is already, like, loud and rambunctious. But something about being, facing all the kids, all your friends and stuff was way funner than just being in rows, sitting behind, like, one behind the other. I don't know, that was totally off subject, but that's what this brought me to. That's what this tissue paper brought me to. Okay. So, then, this next, this next one I have not opened yet, because I believe I got two of these. Yeah, I did. I got two of these. And, um, this is, this is a white, let's see, I'll make it darker. You can see it's white and it has colorful rainbow sparkles all over it, like little glitter pieces. And it's so pretty. It reminds me of confetti cake or something. So what you do is... You get... side of the tissue paper and you just you just pull that and that kind of keeps them together right there but once you pull them out there's no need to put it back I don't think because they all stay folded up pretty well so I'll just set that down with the other one So I think after I get done showing you all of these, we'll come back and we'll make some nice sounds with these. Some very nice, gentle sounds. But I really do, I really do love this one. It's nice for any occasion. Um, when I'm packing clothes or accessories for Poshmark, it's nice for anything because it's, it's pretty neutral, you know, with all the different colors speckled onto the white. It's perfect. So, I like it. Now, you only get 20 sheets with this, you got 24 sheets with the other one, which isn't that big of a difference, but just, just so you know, um, if you go to buy tissue paper and you want to check, like, some of them will come with a little bit more than the other ones. So, let me just... So, these next ones are more of a pastel, perfect for um, Easter time, springtime. And I believe I have the, yeah, I have the layout of all the different colors. So you got light blue, you got like a tealish, maybe mint green, and you got a very light pink. You got a purple and kind of like a lavender, and then you got a very light yellow. And you get 24 sheets in that as well. So that's what these are. They're so pretty.
Then this pile is from the vibrant bold colors that I showed you. Um, and I did use a bit from each stack of these from my last order that I made, my last box. They're so fun to make. It's like having your own little store and it's just so cute. So, there's tons of different yellow pages and little papers. We have greens, pinks, and then blue. You also have like a red, I believe. Yeah, you got a red too. So. when you're opening a book and you're kind of just like flattening the middle of the book, like flattening the pages, trying to get them to kind of like stick down a little bit. But we'll come back to that. I have a couple more of these to show you. Which these, these right here, are just the same ones that I showed you before. It's just, this is the pile that I had gotten into and started doing some things with. So, a couple more over here. So my mom picked these up for me. She knows that I'm starting to try to get a little section, like gift wrap section So she got me these. I don't know if I'll use them because they're not um, the most classic or the most classy tissue paper. They got emojis, and that's something my mom thinks emojis are so cute, um, which I do too. But she, but she likes emojis that I don't like. You know what I mean? So she, of course. She got me this, and um, I, I'm really happy that she did, because I'm sure that it'll come in handy. I might even wrap up her stuff with it one of these days. Maybe for, maybe for her birthday or Christmas this year. Or maybe if I sell something that I think somebody will um, enjoy this, maybe I'll use it. And it also comes with some yellow. You don't get much in here. You only get eight. So if you're going to get some um, tissue paper and you're more worried about the variety rather than the texture, I'd recommend getting the, um, the, bigger, the bigger ones. But it does make some nice... This one's really cool. I loved this one. She picked this out. Uh, she picked this out the same day. Now this one, it's not the most classy either, but it's more my style than the emoji one. The emojis just seem kind of uh, childish, even though I'm pretty childish myself sometimes. But I like these. They have little onomatopoeias on them, which I love onomatopoeias. That's something. Later on in this video, just lots of different onomatopoeias. And if you're not sure what an onomatopoeia is, it's all of the all of the words that make up a sound expression, like something like shoop, doop, wow, bang, boop, poof. Um, you'll see them a lot in sound bubbles on cartoons, like say somebody is falling and then you'll see the word pop or plop or um, bang or you know stuff like that let me think or even like a, a trend 
train, um, you'll see like little cloud bubbles that say choo choo. That's describing a sound that it's making. So that's kind of a little lesson there on onomatopoeias. I probably didn't describe it and explain it the best, but what are you gonna do, you know? So this one's really cute. It has These little cloud bubbles. So I'll definitely use this. If not for my Poshmark packaging, I'll use it for gifts or something in the future because it's totally me. It's so cute. If I ever send out a comic book to somebody or, you know, I'm getting so many comic books in a collection. So one of these days when I've had my time with them, when I've read them and stuff, I might go through them and then maybe do like a comic book giveaway because I know a lot of you are fans of comics and I think that would just be so nice. Kind of like be able to give back something. Um, but yeah, these are just so cool. I'll kind of hold them closer so that you can just see. See boom, exclamation. Boom, things to show you while I'm talking about all this and then we'll go back and we'll dedicate some really good time to that sound. So uh, this next thing that I'm going to show you is another thing that my mom had picked me out when she picked out those two things. It's just this little gift bag. But I really, I probably can't use this to pack something and ship it in the mail. I probably need to just save this and keep it for like a birthday party or, you know, something like that. But it's a really cute bag. It's just a brown paper bag. And then it has all kinds of different colors of stars. They got these kind of like holographic silverish ones. Then you got these holographic rainbow ones. And it's so cool. you're looking for something super specific, then, you know. But yeah, I wanted to show you that while I was showing you all this other stuff. Now, this box is just a box that I store this stuff in. Um, it did not come from this place, this happiness boutique, which I love. have all these different little tapes and I got these for Christmas a few years ago to do uh, what was it what's it called not journaling but um, scrapped book art like scrapped book hobby or something scrapbooking maybe but it came it was like a kit and it came with a bunch of different stuff so it came with this sparkly tape which I use to kind of tape the tissue paper closed. Then I have this tape, and it has some fuzz on it because it's sitting on this fuzzy thing. But it's like a white tape, and it has gold, silver, and black little heart um, twinkles. They're not stars, they're more like just little twinkles. <laughs> this tape is pink spark. Love it. It's so cute. This one is black, white, and I think gray. Yeah, black, white, and gray striped. Diagonal striped. This one's pure gold. It's nice. And then this one, it's like a floral. Purple, pink, blue, black. Um, there might be a little bit of nice. So all those are little tiny tapes. And then, um, 
these, these also came with the scrapped, scrapbook kit, but I'm not sure if I could ever use them for a gift, like to package my things. They're like little magnetic clips. You can open them up, and I'm pretty sure they are to put, to keep like pages, um, separate, like organized and stuff. I just thought they were so cool. This one's silver and white. Then I have two more. This one says, follow your heart. And then it has little, like, diamond-looking, like, glitter at the end. And then this one is just, has some flower decorations on it and some black and white line, or some black lines. A gold, a gold trim up here. So yeah, I plan to get more supplies and stuff for my new hobby. So, let's go ahead and start making some nice paper sounds.
be a little bit more of a show and tell again but it's gonna be something that we're gonna use a little bit later on in today's video now this was requested by one of you the fine folks and um, got a little bit of a story to tell about it so let me just adjust a couple things so about um, I think it was maybe a month ago one of you had requested that I get a Zen garden and if you don't know what a Zen garden is it's just like a miniature little sandbox and it comes with a few different a few different Okay. This being one of those things. And all of this stuff is still packaged in just how it came. And I'll show you how it came. Hold on. So, this is how it came here. Now, of course, it was in the box. But as you can see, the box is a little bit bent right here. And I don't want to hold it up for too long because I'm afraid that it'll spill. So what happened was, I had an order, I had an order from Amazon, and I had ordered a couple different wigs for some different videos that I've been wanting to do. I ordered a hat, and, and I ordered a cloak. I can't tell you too much because it's a surprise of a video I'm going to do. So this came in a whole box with all of that stuff. When I opened the box, I was very excited, but I seen little black sand all over my stuff. I seen it on my wigs and my cloak and my hat. And I was so like, I didn't know, I didn't know what was going on at first. Come to find out, one of the little bags of sand had a little hole in it. Let's see if I can show you. It's right here. <gasps> Anyways, a lot of sand fell out, so I don't know if it was completely full. I think it was because the other bag is completely full to the top. So half of the bag of sand flew out all over my wigs and all over my stuff. The good thing is, um, one of my wigs was completely sealed. They were in a bag, kind of like this. And one of the bags were completely sealed, and it was, it was the blonde wig. So it didn't do anything to that. Now the other wig that I had was a new Becky Lynch wig. It was more of like a darker orange than what I've been using. The one I've been using is a little bit more of like a fiery, bright, bold orange, and her hair is a little bit more subtle now, a little bit more dark. Anyways, so there was black sand all throughout my Becky Lynch wig, but it's okay. I shook it out, and I kind of combed through it a little bit, and it's perfect. But it was just like, you know, one of those things. And, um, I haven't put the Zen Garden together yet, so I wanted to show you guys everything it came with before I put it together. Of course, the notorious, um, infamous, infamous, um, bag of sand right here. It came with these really there's sand all over it. I'm so sorry. This little bag with these little different jewels. Which I got to thinking I could actually put some of my rocks, my little stones from my collection into this if I wanted. These are supposed to be little 
star shaped or like little, little twinkle shaped stars you have a clear clear one a green a blue a red and a purple so it came with that and the reason it did was because I didn't order just a basic Zen garden, like a square Zen garden. I ordered a moon shaped one. So, this is the bag of the white sand, and it, it goes in one moon, and the black sand goes into the other moon. Or, there's like a circle. I'll show you in a second. This was supposed to go into the little moon, and that's why it's a little bit of a littler bag than the black one. See how much? Well, the black one was supposed to have a little bit more in it so that it would fill up the other side of the moon. So, let's see. It came with this little thing here. You can scoop the sand, which we're going to be doing a lot of hands-on with that later in today's video. I'll most likely do a separate video on that as well, because it's it's been highly requested by somebody. And um, let's see the last thing that it came with, other than the actual garden itself little pokey pointer. So. so this is what we have left here. And this is the box. So, on the box, you can see what it's supposed to look like. There's a little, the white sand. Let me see. So, here, the white sand goes into this moon, making it a white crescent-looking moon. And then, here is the section where the black sand goes. And you can space out the little gems that it came with. And then you can use the little pointer and the little... Let's see, what is it called? I don't know what that thing's called. Let's see. Um, I'll, re I'll read it in a second. But I, right now, I don't know what that is called. Um, but that's what it's supposed to look like once it's all... I'm sure you can use the little pointy thing to carve out the little stars. Okay. Now I haven't looked at this yet. It's still in the package from the day it came just because I wasn't worried about it. I was worried about my other things. I'm trying to get the sand off of them and making sure that they were in good condition. So I'm just going to try to collect as much of the sand Maybe not. Maybe I won't worry about it. Oh, okay. So it came with a little pack of stars that you can put in there. I thought you had to carve out from the wood. for a second and put down this if I can if I can okay alright so let's go back to the box let's just read a little bit about it so it says um, it says mini zen garden I'm going to get the 
pointer unpackaged so that I can actually use it to trace over musicians or the orchestrators for bands they're like doop, 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 doop. I always thought that was so cool and fun to do anyways though so this is the box that it came in and in cursive writing it says mini zen garden Moon and stars. There's the pointer and the little the little thing. So it's a wooden circle with a moon, a crescent moon carved in. Then this piece is supposed to be the sky with all the little stars and jewels and little twinkles so it's pretty cool the bottom of the box it says enjoy the celestial celestial night Sky. Dot dot dot. At your desk top. At your desk top. So all the sides are blank. Now at the top it says the same thing it did at the bottom of the front, and then it shows the picture again. all the little things that it came with. It says Zen Life www.zenlifeusa.com is what it says. Age is 14 plus. So there are one, two, three, four, five little bullet points up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and read those to you. The first one says, enjoy the moon and stars on your desktop at home or at the office. You could take it anywhere with you though, you know, it doesn't have to be at work or your house. It could probably, you know, go other places. Number two, play with the black and white sand and feel the stress melt away. Number three, all the accessories all the accessories you need to escape to a celestial getaway. I need to learn what that word is. A uh, celestial, a celestial. So many different ways it could be said. I've never said that word in my life. So I'm so sorry. Celestial. Celestial. The next one. Handcrafted hardwood sandbox measures 8.5 in diameter. And the last one makes a great gift for adults to meditate, reduce stress, and practice mindfulness. Nice. I've been wanting to do more meditating lately and really like try to focus on it. So that's really good. And the person that did request this told me that it was good for stress. And that was part of the reason they were requesting it is because not only would be um, good for me like stress wise but it'll also be good for you guys to watch it just being played with and stuff so that'll be cool okay let's see enjoy the celestial sky during any time of the day white sand represents the moon and sand represents the night sky. See, I was right. Arrange the stars and planets in any formation. All those are planets. 
ones. I thought they were twinkles. So these are supposed to be planets. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. That makes it way more fascinating to me now. It'd be cool though if they actually looked like planets instead of little, you know, gems, fake gems. But I bet I could buy little planet looking stones. Oh, oh, that'd be so cool. Okay. Okay, so arrange the stars and planets in any formation. Draw designs in the sand. Meditate and leave your troubles behind. So I wonder if that means you can, like, I thought to meditate you really had to just, like, clear your mind. Maybe? And, like, close your eyes, too. Maybe not. Maybe you can meditate and do this. I'll have to look up videos about it. I've never, I've never had one of these before. or really, like, looked into them too much. A contemporary spin on the populars in gardens. Everything you need to relax right at your desk. Includes 8.5 handcrafted hardwood sandbox, fine black and white sand, wooden stars, multicolored crystals, rake, and drawing stylus. Okay, so that thing is called a rake. Cool. It looked like a rake, but I didn't want to call it that because, you know, I don't know. Um, and then this thing is a drawing stylus, not a pointer. Good to know, Mr. Stylus. So, it's pretty neat. So what I'll do is I'm I'm gonna save this for later on in the video because I want to get a really good um, like an, a view of just this and really like close up doing stuff with it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put all the tools there that I'm gonna use and then do more of this. In We will definitely come back to this. Okay. So, now, the next thing that we are going to do is I'm going to read which one I'm going to read from in just a minute. I have to go get it here in a second. But, um, I will tell you that I'm going to try to read it very consistently. There's going to be lots of page-turning sounds. Um, and, yeah. This was requested by somebody that gave me this comic book. So, I'm going to just do it in this video. And I hope you guys enjoy. I haven't really read, like, anything yet for this video, so I thought it would be a perfect thing to put in it. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go grab it really quickly, and then we'll get started right away, okay? 